final test flight for the Solar Impulse team, preparing to take off from Hawaii on the next leg of their historic round-the-world flight using just the power of the sun. For the crew, including an embedded ABB engineer, the challenge is to convert and store as much solar energy as possible and transmit it to the parts of the plane that need it most. It's difficult because uh, in an airplane you can't cheat. So efficiency and weight are uh, extremely critical. And that's interesting, if we uh, can do it in an airplane, using now the technologies which are available to everyone, which are available also to, uh, to build up a grid system, because what we have in this airplane is exactly what we uh, have to do on the ground. And nowhere more so than here in Hawaii, which has pledged to generate 100% of its energy from renewable sources by 2045. And that's where ABB microgrid technology comes in. Until a few years ago, the Hawaiian island of Kauai generated virtually all of its electricity by burning diesel, which had to be imported at considerable expense. Now, solar farms like this one account for nearly half their power generation, saving money and cutting emissions. Just like the Solar Impulse aircraft, Kauai would like to generate, transmit and store local energy in a self-sufficient way, and they're depending on cutting-edge ABB technology to do it. The ABB presence here um, was key in that it, it's really uh, the brains behind the operation, it's where the uh, the power electronics uh, are tying the solar variability with the battery storage so that we get smooth power out of the solar field. I think that every day uh, we prove that you can incorporate renewable generation and, and, and bring it on into the grid. Obviously there, there are going to be challenges, there, there are going, we're going to stumble. Uh, but uh, when you live on an island and you grow up on an island, you learn to persevere because you have no one to depend on except yourself. So yeah, absolutely, we'll get there. This microgrid technology driven by ABB is part of a huge shift in the energy industry which is enabling communities around the world to incorporate and manage renewable power. At the other end of the United States, Kodiak Island in Alaska is also using an ABB microgrid to manage the wind and hydropower that now accounts for up to 100% of its energy. For other remote communities like this town in the Australian outback, microgrids are the key to making renewable power stable enough to depend on. There is a energy and grid transformation that's happening. There's more complexity in the system. There are more nodes that are coming into the system that have to be managed. There's a lot of data that, that can be managed. And of course, if you're looking at uh, off-grid applications, the number of people that still don't have access to electricity globally, or they have access to unreliable uh, electricity is tremendous. The technology is there. The solutions are there. We have all of that today. And it's very important to enable these technologies and these solutions to be able to bring quality power to the people who don't have it today. It's that expertise in more than 80 microgrid projects worldwide that motivates ABB's partnership with Solar Impulse as they look for similar ways to harness clean, green energy to do extraordinary things. The partnership with ABB is not only technological, it's also a partnership in spirit. Because what we try to do at Solar Impulse is to demonstrate how clean technologies can be used to achieve the impossible. And it's clear that if we can fly day and night with no fuel, it means these technologies are mature to also help people on the ground to reduce their energy consumption and their CO2 emissions. And in that sense, I think ABB gives the credibility to what we are doing in the air, because they do it on the ground for everybody.